Uh, oh boy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, well, uh, I decided that I wanted to get that, uh, Diplodocus, since I figured out how you're supposed to tame it. It's a ten-seater, you bring lots of friends. And, um, now I'm, I'm at the spot where I originally found it, and now it's just not here. Am I, am I, I'm worried they may have gotten eaten at one point, is all I'm trying to say. I don't know why I decided to say it like that. Uh, look, it's a gang of some naughty Dilophosaurs. Let's eat them. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, it's real good for you. Hey guys. Already was hungry, was jonesing for a snack is all I'm saying. No, no, it's me you're fighting. There we go. That's how you do it. <clears throat> okay, seriously. Where is this Diplodocus? Um, that's not it, is it? Is it? No, that's not it. That's the wrong pattern altogether. Let's get the actual, like, yeah. We're looking for a female at level 31, sorry. <clears throat> the part calls for a, uh, a female Diplod Diplodocus, Diplodocus at the, uh, the age of 31. Uh, you, uh, so, sorry, but you do not fit the part, says the, the greasy, uh, movie producer. <laughs> uh, uh, alright. <clears throat> Where is it already? So what, did it just, like, despawn or something? Did it wander off into its death? That's, a uh, likely, right? What? Oh. It's always somebody! It's always somebody! You think you're tough, but you're not! I know you need to make yourself feel better about yourself, but hurting others is not the right way! Ugh. Okay, seriously, people, I'm having no luck finding this thing. It's just like, no hide or tail of this thing, just... I have had no luck with the Plotuses at all. The Plotus guy. I, I can't talk, but it's just like uh, the very like oh well sorry already I wasn't paying attention but um uh, very first one I thought it was aggroing and then like next time I couldn't even figure out the glitch about the whole vegetables thing and now I can't even find it that a lot of luck I have don't I eh what huh. What is that? Uh, level 20, yeah, 28, female Tapajara. Huh. And it appears to be stuck. Is that a usual thing with, uh... Well, there's a fight breaking out, so excuse me. I need to dip my toes into this. Is that a usual thing with Tapajara? It's just getting stuck in rocks. It seems to be. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's very mean of you. You shouldn't beat on the elderly. It's not very nice. Okay, seriously, I've been hitting this Carnotaurus over and over again. Why isn't it dead? Hey, look, I stole your meal. How do you feel about that? This Carnotaurus is a rude dude. I stole that meal from you too. How do you feel about that? Now I turned you. Oh, level 28. Not bad. Level. Uh, you gotta turn you into a meal now too. Mmm. Lovely. Yeah, that seems like a perfect time to get a Tapajara. Guys, should we get a Tapajara instead? Should we get ourselves another flyer? Screw having uh, the Plotticus. The Plotticus seems like it's only useful in multiplayer. I mean, like, just look at all those seats. Bring your friends and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should just get the tap of jar instead. Yeah, you know what? I'm heading home. I'm getting the tap of jar thing. We're gonna uh, tame that thing instead. I'm just gonna drop off some berries with Littlefoot. Make sure that uh, Littlefoot's well fed. How about you, Boofy? Doing all right? Yeah, you doing all right, Boofy. Boofy. Uh, so they got the uh, 
uh, the, the Sylvester Stallone kind of uh, talking speech right now. If it, you actually think this sounds like Sylvester Stallone, you have just a terrible taste as I have. <laughs> that, that sounded more like David Hayter's, uh, uh, David Hayter's, uh, Solid Snake, if anything. Uh, Metal Gear. Uh, that's equally as bad, now that I think about it. Sorry, I have no talent. Well, it's night already. Might as well do some other stuff before we go do that. Like, it's not like that type of jar is going anywhere, let's be honest. <clears throat> Uh, let's, uh, let's see how the jerky is going, shall we? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, 15. Lovely. <clears throat> I think I meant to leave some tranquilizer darts with, uh, with our, our boy Littlefoot, but I completely forgot. Also, the evil bird is a little too close for my taste. Or maybe I'm just seeing things incorrectly. Uh, yeah, the Tab Pajara one, it has three seats. Oh, lovely. This episode is going to be all about having seats uh, that have, uh, saddles that have multiple seats, apparently. Lady Chomp, I love you. You're beautiful. Keep on being beautiful. All right, Mr. Thick Nose. Haven't really tried you out so far. Also, have I talked about Mr. Thick Nose's design yet? I probably should. Uh, this isn't going to be like a full critique because I have, probably going to have a lot more to say about that. But <clears throat> uh, one of the bigger problems I have is the crest itself. It's way too over the top. Just pointless spikes all over the thing. Like this looks like... How can I put this? It's like a 90s interpretation of Pachyrhinosaurus. You know what I mean? Just pointless like spikes to make it all look rad and shit. You know? Yeah. Uh, but what I do like is the body overall. I don't know what it is, but, like, I know the proportions are completely wrong, but I don't know what it is, but something about the body itself kind of gets me. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, an old, like, documentary or cartoon that I used to watch that had, a like, a, a very compact kind of body shape like this that I kind of like about it. Uh, yeah. I like the body more than the Triceratops is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Okay, so I heard that this thing has some special properties, so let's test those properties out. I don't know why I said properties, like I'm doing some kind of science experiment or something, but I heard that Pachyrhinosaurus is special. Again, keeping research to a minimum. Uh, let's figure it out for ourselves, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> Regular R2, then. So usually the special buttons tend to be uh, L2 and R3, so... What is uh what does this do then? What the fuck? What Oh okay. It emitted a weird gas. <laughs> Did it just fart? What the fuck happened? Don't tell me you emitted it from its crest or something. Okay, so what about R3? What? Uh all of a sudden, you've gotten violent. Oh, God! Okay, guys. Dang it. No! Switch! B bullets! Uh. Oh, you freaking jerk birds! Set it on fire, y'all! that bird go okay so I learned what that ability thank you mr. thick nose uh, Otley eat this will you Otley Otley you're on my shoulders aren't you yes thank you For a second there I thought Otley disappeared okay so I guess we figured out what the what packy rhinosaurus's thing is Emitting gases that uh, do stuff, apparently, and one of them is pull aggro. <clears throat> so, uh, apparently that's a thing. Why is that a thing? Okay, whatever. Do what you want. Uh, that doesn't even seem close to reality. Like, what? 
Yeah, are they supposed to be coming out of its, like, crest? Is it supposed to be hollow like that? Uh... What? Okay, I'm just... I'm trying to think as to why to have that kind of stuff. Maybe in, like, PvP, I guess? Because I've seen that on, like, the online stuff. And maybe it's, like, for, you know, making wild creatures or maybe, like, make other creatures just calm down is the... L2 and then make everything freak out on the go frenzy on the R3, I guess. But, uh, <clears throat> yes, thank you. Sarah's already leveling up. Thank you. That's very good. Increase your weight. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. This really makes a size comparison when you put the two X next to the Triceratops, doesn't it? <clears throat> Makes all the sense in the world. All right, Mr. Thick Nose, you're heading over to hang out with Carrie and whatnot because your level is high enough that I'm not really worried about you. You're mostly a gatherer anyway. Well, that was fun to explore, wasn't it? Yeah, that was seeing all that random stuff charge at us. Uh, with Mr. Thick Nose's fart clouds. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> all right, got that sorted out. Just took a nice short way forever uh, excuse me e excuse me okay <clears throat> so um, hopefully being around uh, loving friends will help Sarah to gain more levels also my phone buzzed it was supposed to be turned off because I'm the world's biggest idiot that's just it people <clears throat> oh yeah there's something else I wanted to show off uh, firstly we need to go get the boat but I'm going to be using Terry Rex to get it because something else that I figured out that made me laugh my ass off and it still does. Alright, watch this. Woo! <laughs> yes! Stupidly, the freaking Terror Bird apparently can glide. Wait, was that what I thought it was? No! You're dying! Dead! Back my tranquilizers. The last thing I need is your ass screwing things up like that. All right, well the sun's back, so might as well uh, go get that tap of jar now. <clears throat> yeah, we need to keep uh, increasing uh, Terry Rex's weight if we want to keep using uh, using that more effectively. All right, Terry Rex, tell me you can float your way to the boat. Come on, all right? Come on. With this with this rock right here, it's got to, all right? Hold on. Can we get up this rock? Yes. Please, yes. Hold on. Land! Oh! Oh, just overshot it. Uh, we can get it, though. I believe in us. Can we just... No, we got to land this. We got to land it, people. Yes. Cheer for me. I'm going to land the shot. going to land this shot right here, all right? Okay, come on. Come on. Do it. Stop now. Woo! Just got it. All right, people. That's what I want to see. All right. Terry Rex. Do not fly off the boat. Stay right where you are. Stay put. Okay, good. Seems to be working, kind of, sort of. Yeah, all right. Jittering a bit, but uh, Terry Rex is uh, definitely all right being on this boat. Definitely, good. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Okay, turn this off. Turn this off. Turn this off. Thank you. Thank you, Terry Rex. You gave me some amusement. Always good. <clears throat> now let's get on the back of Artie and we'll take care of that Tapajara. Alright? I'll see you guys next time.